here at the Miami Boat Show with Rich Regal and we are standing on the balcony of the Sea Ray SLX 40, 400, 400. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to lean on your experience and everything you know about this to, to give you a run through. Awesome. Yeah, so you are on the SLX 400. This is the outboard version. Uh, this is the boat that we refer to as the entertainer. Uh, so you can see, you know, up to 20 people here in the cockpit and the bow. It's a great spacious boat. It's got a nice cabin down below so you can overnight on it, but it's really designed to maximize the, the space up top. So as you mentioned, you're standing down on the fold down terrace now. So with our swim terrace down, it opens it up. It's like the back deck of your house. So it gives you this great extra space. But then in addition to that, you can swing your backrest around here so now you've got a great comfortable spot. You can sit, you can watch the kids yes, play yeah. and uh, it kind of becomes a rinse and repeat. The kids jump off the side, climb back up. Gives you a great spot just to yeah. view everything. Also, you can see our audio system is also designed to make sure that you can still enjoy your tunes while you're out at the sandbar or out on the hook. Um, but it just makes a great boat to entertain on. As we come into the cockpit area, you can see a great layout here in the cockpit. So you can see this wraparound seating. So you can kind of think of it in your house when you're entertaining. Now we put it on the water. You got this great open seating. You got a foldable table. So this great teak table folds out. So it's plenty of room to sit, have a meal, have some drinks. Behind you is our gourmet station, uh, which is really nice. So you can equip this with up to two refrigerators, as well as the trash can is hidden in here. That gives you a dedicated spot for your trash your sink on the wet bar. We've got this equipped with two Kenyan grills. Two grills, that's nice. Two grills, yeah. uh, which makes it super nice. So now you can go out and spend all day and not have to come back um, because you want food. Uh, they're electric grills with Kenyan, uh, so it's not a separate fuel source. It runs off of the electrical system, so you don't have to worry about uh, any other flammable source uh, here inside the cockpit. You can see we have our TV here, so if you're out on the hook, you wanna watch the game, uh, the kids need to be entertained for a little bit, Great option there as well, but you can see this this wonderful seating as you move throughout the boat. This also spins. So you've got three different lock positions there. So all the way wow. forward, facing sideways. Also your flip down bolster. Wow. Uh, so now you've got this great entertaining area uh, to be able to just hang out with friends and family. So you can see up above us, we've got our opening uh, sunroof here. Uh, so this is a manual sunroof. So. If it's raining or hot, close it down. If you want to get out in the elements, open it up, brings in all the natural light. And then also above your head, we've got our rear sunshade uh, from Sure Shade. So push that button, it goes all the way out, covers the sun pad, push of a button retracts back in. So whether you want the sun or whether you want the shade, we've got the option for both. Here at the helm, you can see it's, you know, it's just absolutely amazing. Twin 16 inch Simrad screens, uh, gives you great visibility to a number of different functions, but most of the functions on the boat, you can control right from the screen. You can get your maps, you can get your weather, you can get your engine data, uh, tons and tons of information right at the push of a button. It's also fully customizable. So I can actually take these 16 inch screens and split them and end up with eight different views. So I can quadrant this down into four per picture, screen. Picture in a picture. I can cut them in half and you can also customize it to what you want to see. So if your companion's sitting here and they want to watch charts and weather and you want to watch engine data, you can do either or on both sides. If you decide that you want a couple of different things, it's real easy. I can just click and drag over as I open them up and now I can create my own screen is exactly how I want it. So now I've got a four screen. Oh, wow. I can save that. And so now when it comes up, I can see my engine data. I can see my Seakeeper gyro information. I can see my full controls. And then I've also got chart all on one 16 inch screen. Duplicate that, I've got eight different pieces of data right at my fingertips. Oh, fantastic. We partner with Fusion for the audio. So this has an amazing sound system on it. When you're out on the water, you're spending the day, you really wanna be able to enjoy your tunes. So we've actually partnered with Fusion. Uh, one of the cool things with Fusion is actually you connect via Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth. You can't connect via Bluetooth, but with Bluetooth, you lose the upper and lower end of your sound. So being able to connect with the Wi-Fi router that's in the Fusion head unit, you get much better sound, much better and clarity. Better integrity. It's absolutely amazing when you're out on the boat. I can just ask you about performance as well mm -hmm. uh, on the, the twin V12s there. Twin V12s, you're gonna be uh, close to 60 miles an hour uh, with this boat and it's a 40 foot boat. It's an amazing running vessel. 
super quiet engine. So with those V12 engines from Mercury, very, very quiet. So most people, when they think outboards, they're thinking, oh, we got all this noise we have to worry about. They're actually quieter than most of your stern drives. So standing here at the helm, when you fire up those engines, most of the time, unless you're looking at your screens and notice your RPMs go up, you may not even know they're running. They're that quiet. Uh, the other cool thing about the V12 engine is when I'm using my joystick, or joystick piloting from Mercury, traditionally the entire power head turns. With the V12s, only the lower unit turns. So it's almost like running a pods boat uh, and you get a much better splay. So you get a 45 degree splay, so you get much better maneuverability in and around the docks. And, and so cruising on those ones what's the the sweet spot of, sweet spot of is going to be in the upper 20s low 30s uh, uh and you, it's a great cruising boat how how far could you get uh, so you're there? you're typically at cruise speed you're going to be doing just over a gallon a mile uh, yeah. on your consumption at cruise speed uh, so it, it makes a great running boat uh, very economical and your engine service hours uh the intervals are much longer than a traditional output. Yeah. So you're gonna spend less time working on it. Also super easy to access. So you actually just do all your maintenance just by opening the hood, uh, if you will, on the engines. Whereas in the old days, you're trying to get the cowling off and reaching down and figuring out how to change the oil with the new V12s, super easy to operate. We mentioned a little bit about the joystick piloting. So you can run this boat, you can actually crab it sideways, you can spin it in its own length. Um, you've also got Skyhook, which mm. is basically a digital GPS anchor. Yeah. So if you're watching the sunset or you want to keep your view, hit your Skyhook. If you're out by yourself and you're coming in, you're waiting, you got to put your lines out, put your fenders out, you're waiting for your spot at the fuel dock, hit Skyhook and it'll hold you in place. Also auto heading and autopilot functions as well. So if you're on a long haul, you're running down the intercoastal, I can set my heading and it's going to keep me straight so I'm not going to wander. But then if I tap my joystick, it'll adjust. If I twist my joystick, it'll adjust 10 degrees. So it keeps you from running. So you run to the Bahamas. If you're not using something, you can wander all the way to the Bahamas. If you got your auto heading, you simply tap it into where you want to go and it'll hold you in a straight line. Beautiful. You can see as we move up to the bow, most people get to this part and they go, man, that's an amazing boat. And you say, well, come on forward. You come forward, you got seating for seven more uh, here in the bow. So you can see this great uh, theater type seating, fold down armrest, super comfortable. Um, so you can see just the attention to detail throughout the boat with the quilted stitching and the way they, they assemble the boat and the upholstery. It's just absolutely a gorgeous boat. So you can imagine sitting here, you're looking at the horizon, you, you know, you're just having a great day with friends and family. And again, seven people in the bow, uh, three here, Two there, two there. Got everybody up here. Plenty and, uh, of, of drink holders as well. Plenty of drink holders. Uh, you've also got extra controls for your audio. Uh, okay. So you got an, a separate head unit here. So we can actually run everything in the boat off of one audio system, or I can split it and say, I want a, the bow louder or quieter. So if they're back there having a party and they're on the sandbar and they got the music turned up way loud back there, I can actually turn it down just here in the bow so you and I can continue to have a conversation. Oh, perfect. And, and that's an advantage of the Wi-Fi system, I guess, yeah, as well. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it's all tied in, yeah. uh, but the clarity from the Wi-Fi is just going to be great. Yeah. So, And there's, there's storage as well. Uh, there's storage under both of these seats. There's also a drop-down storage here. So you can see we've got the mount there for right, your table. The table. So the table actually stores down there. Mm. But you can also put lines, fenders, uh, other gear down uh, in that storage compartment. And then there in the front, we've got your windless system. Uh, so you can drop and lower your anchor either from the helm or from your remote here. Uh, it's a great spot there as well, but and you can just see it's just an amazing place just to hang out. In addition to the rear shade and the center shade, we've also got a bow shade that's available. So two carbon fiber poles there, and then it attaches to the hard top oh, wow. there. So you can actually cover almost the entire 40 foot of boat in canvas on a hot day. And you know, if you're in South Florida or Texas and it's a 100 degree day, you can actually get the shade uh, and it's a nice material, so you still get good airflow through it, uh, but still blocks out the sun. That's where the uh, the extra cooler space, the two fridges come in. Yeah, exactly, and there's also another one downstairs. Oh. Uh, so downstairs in the cabin below, you've got another refrigerator downstairs as well as a microwave, uh, more televisions downstairs as well, and sleeping up to four uh, oh. down below oh, deck. Okay. Can we take a look? Absolutely. So as you come into the downstairs, you can see uh, another television here with the sound bar, refrigerator, microwave, 
nice little cubbies that you can store your coffee maker or other goods uh, for your galley. Folding table here. So this table folds out, it's another place to sit and eat, but then the table also drops down. And with a filler cushion, this becomes an area that you can sleep here in the V-berth. Right behind you is our head. So you can see the head there. So it's a wet head with a stand-up shower. Uh, but when you're out there for the weekend, it gives you a great place uh, to be able to rinse off before retiring for the evening. And then there midship, you can see the large bed there in the back. Uh, great sleeping area. Uh, you don't have to convert it. It stays as is. Uh, so it's a great place to, to climb back, take a nap, or spend the weekend out on the boat. This could be a, an amazing family boat as well with the addition of the, of the saloon that, that yep. converts to the sleeper. Yep, absolutely. And again, it's a, it's a boat that, you know, it's a great boat to overnight or spend the weekend on. Really about maximizing that space up top, which is where everybody wants to hang out. Yeah. It's, you know, everybody wants to be out on a boat, not necessarily in a boat unless it's inclement weather, somebody needs a nap, uh, those types of things where you're spending the evening. But as you can see, it's just, you know, it's an overall great boat, entertaining all your friends, all your family, uh, great storage down below as well. Uh, so as you open that rear engine hatch, you got more storage down below. It's also where you access your generator and your sea keeper. It also gives you access for another stand up shower here on the back. That opens up and you actually have a shower pole there. You stand it up right here and then you've got your shower drain right here in the deck. Uh, so they checked all the boxes uh, when they designed the entertainer for sure. How, how long can you be off grid sustainable? So it, there's not way. a water maker, so that would no. be your only water, water and fuel is what you're gonna need. Right. But uh, you can also option this boat with, with the Fathom system. Uh, so the Fathom system replaces the generator with a battery system. So you can run all your ancillary systems right off the battery. So if you're out on the hook, uh, now you don't have the hum of a generator, so it's whisper right. quiet, uh, and then it uh, recharges as you're running your engines, or if you're on your shore power. I guess the only thing missing is a uh, tow tower. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, you can almost, I mean, even a boat of this size, it 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 is maximized for space, but it seems like it could also be a, a ski boat somehow. It it, uh, it would be an interesting boat to try to do it because it is a heavy boat. It's going to throw quite a wave yeah. uh, when uh, when you're running those speeds for sure. Yeah. So, wow, great. Well, thank you very awesome. much. It's a Appreciate it. Boat. Great to spend some time with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.